morning, after evening. That's it from Tom Brain. Another quick video. This one's, you know, it was really about how do you buy a stock when it's on sale, or what do you, what do I think a stock is on sale? Be, just because a stock has gone down maybe a dollar or two or one percent, whatever, that really is not on sale. But you really have to look at something that's really gets hits hard. You know, say with right now with the coronavirus, the coronavirus is pushing a lot of stocks down, and it, it's just crazy. Um, it's probably gonna get down a little bit lower over the next week. Um, so you've got to watch up. That's something like that because the things like that, that's when the stock is going on sale because things that outside, not affecting the stock itself, not affecting the company, but outside factors that are influencing it, influencing the price, causing the price to go down, 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 down. So that's what you got to look at for something when a stock starts going on sale, when outside influences are pushing it to go down. Another one the good to look at is, you know, Facebook last year. I believe it was last year, you know, Mark Zuckerberg was going up to Congress. Congress was bashing him, you know, over the labor coin, the cryptocurrency coin that, you know, Facebook wanted to create. And so Congress was bashing him, you know, and that was pushing the stock down a lot. Um, that's another time, you, you know, when outside influences were pushing down a, a stock or a company, an industry, you know, you to, that's the thing, the things you got to look at. You know, look at for those little indicators, you know, you don't, you always see it in the news and everything, but you don't really think. How does you know what's happening over here may affect that stock? So you've got to look at both things. You got to, you got to correlate. You know how to figure out how do those two things? You know how are they affecting the stock? How are they affecting the stock price? And you know could that mean the stock is going on sale because of that? Because if you look right after that, right after Facebook was bashed by uh, Congress, you know Facebook stocks are going up higher and higher and higher right after that. So that's what you got to look for. You got to look up for key little indicators like that because things like that will cause the stock price to drop. All right, and just just so you know, I bought some. I bought a stock, a couple shares of stock last Friday. Uh, I bought BP. You know, BP. You know, oil and gas company is doing very well, but because of everything going on with the coronavirus, it's pushing the stock down lower. You know, it's hurting the industry, hurting the industry, hurting the airline industry as well, uh, hurting the oil and gas industry. You know, but some things, if you look at it, some stock prices are going a lot lower than what they should be. You know, BP is a great company. You know, they had the little uh, oil spillage a couple years ago, but overall, they're a great company. It's a world, it's an international company of helping out different countries, helping out people that need, you know, that resource. Even though Elon Musk is drawing all the news, people still need gas. People still need oil. It's still getting used every day. All right. All right. I just want to be as quick, short, right to the point today. Not really a whole lot. But it make, I want this more to be more of a thinking video, more some for you thinking about anything with investing, anything with passive income, anything you want to do to buy. You really have to do a lot of thinking. You can't just go out and say, "Hey, I want to do this today." You know, you've got to put a lot of thought in it. You got to use, you know, use what God gave you. You know, your little brain up here, and you really think about some things because too many things today we don't think about it. We just go and do it. Um, but a lot of things you really got to plan for. You got to think about it and think how it's going to help you in the future, uh, not just today, not just tomorrow. You've got to look at, you know. You look at weeks and years down the road. You really got to look further out. You know, how is something really going to help you? Is it going to help you in what you're doing? Is it going to personally help you? Is it going to help you in the future? Um, that you really, you've got to look at things like you've got to plan for some things and a lot of things. It may be hard, but you've got to figure out how to get there, how to do it. Because if you do that, it will help you so much more in the future. And, you know, going a little tangent, but a little bit of a message as well. Hopefully you get something out of this. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, you know, like this video, subscribe, click the bell for the notification because this Friday I'm coming back with another video, another passive income video. All right, take care. Have a great day.